Hey, how is going? Today I will show you how to install mouse toggle for your Amazon Fire Stick. A mouse toggle comes in handy when you are trying to use an app which was not created for TVs in the first place. And some of those apps would be impossible to use without a mouse toggle. Like for example a speed test application, you can't really use it without a mouse toggle, because you can click on all the buttons that you need. But Speedtest is not the only app which requires a mouse toggle. There are hundreds of those applications, from movie apps to streaming apps and even adult apps. So to make sure you can utilize your Fire Stick to the maximum, I'll show you how to get a mouse toggle. Now first of all you have to get an app called Unloader. If you already have it on your device, then just skip to the next part of the video. But if you don't, go to search on your Fire Stick, start typing Downloader. And here it is popped out at the bottom, so there is no need to enter the whole name of the app. Click on it, and that's the app which we need to download. However, that's not it, we also have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to Settings, scroll down until we see My Fire TV, open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. So let's open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to Install Unknown Apps, and turn that option on for the downloader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet via downloader, and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're planning to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device, and you'll see a downloader appear here. But before using the downloader, I always recommend connecting to a NordVPN. Most importantly, of course, it encrypts all the traffic that you send through the internet, so your internet provider doesn't know what apps you are using or downloading, or what videos you are streaming, and it's really important if you want to stay private. And what's also great, NordVPN can block malware and block ads on your device. That's something that free VPNs don't usually do. Of course, using a VPN is not mandatory, but to make sure you stay out of trouble, you can get a NordVPN to stay safe online. And if you are planning on getting a VPN, you can use my promo link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, it's going to provide you with 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. And now, after we got VPN connected and set up, let's use the downloader. So we open the app, select Home on the left side menu, and here in the search bar we have to type a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again the code is 28907, and then you press on Go. Then a website is going to open, you have to scroll down a bit until you see a list of categories, here it is. Here you have to click on tools, and then scroll down a bit until you see the mouse toggle, here it is, click on it. If any ad opens up for you here, make sure to click on close, because if you click on open it's going to mess everything up for you, so click on close. Then a new web page is going to open, which you also have to scroll down, just until you see the download fire TV button, click on it. Click install in the right bottom corner, and then press on done, this way we'll be able to delete the installation file, because we don't need anymore, so click on delete, and delete once again. After that, go to the list of apps on your device, and here's the mouse toggle, which we just unloaded, so now let's set it up. We have to allow USB debugging, and make sure to click on always allow from this computer, then click on ok, and then make sure that the mouse service is enabled as well. I also recommend turning on the auto start on the device startup, this way the mouse toggle application is always going to be active. And then at the bottom you see status, it currently says starting, but what I've noticed, the status in this application doesn't always tell you the truth, so currently it says starting, but it may mean anything. Anyway, let's try to turn on the mouse toggle. To do so, we'll have to double click the play pause button on your remote, let's do it, and as you can see, it has appeared on the screen. However, in case if it doesn't turn on, I would recommend you to disable the mouse service, then wait a couple of seconds until it turns white, and turn it back on. Double click on the play button, 
and it has appeared once again. Another way to fix that problem is going to ADB debugging settings. You may try to click on that button, but it doesn't always work as well. So let's go to settings manually, go to settings, my Fire TV, developer options, ADB debugging, and turn off the ADB debugging and then on again. Then go back to the mouse toggle application. Usually it resolves all the issues that you may have with the mouse toggle app. And now let's go to a different application and I'll show you how to actually use mouse toggle and all the features that it has. So now I have opened my Opera browser and what's great about the mouse toggle, you can use it to scroll the page up or down. So to scroll down, you have to click on the fast forward button on your remote, just like that. And the page is going to be scrolling down and to scroll back up, you have to click on the menu button. That's the bottom of three horizontal lines, just like that. And then you're going to scroll up and to pause the mouse toggle. So you wouldn't use it anymore to turn off the cursor. Just click on the play pause button. I clicked and now the mouse cursor is inactive. And pretty much that's it. That's how you can set up a mouse toggle on your fire stick. Click the like button if this video helped you. So it would help more people as well. And see you next time. Bye bye.